Hello everyone and welcome to another TIA portal video tutorial. In the previous video we have discussed three uh, first timers in the TIA portal, TP, TOF and TON. Today we are going to talk about TONR and customizing parameters of timers and how to use them in our program. The last timer in TIA is retentive and delay timer, or time accumulator or just TONR. A retentive timer means this timer will retain the time. If you look at the TON timer, when I turn on the input, after 10 seconds the output will be on. So we have 10 seconds delay to turn on the output. And if I turn off the input before preset time, here before 10 seconds, the elapsed time will be reset to zero. Suppose we need in this case the elapsed time not to be zero and remains in its uh, last time. And if I turn on the input again, it should resume from that uh, time, not from zero. So we use for uh, this case TONR. Let's insert it into our program. Like other timers, we have a data block to save the timer's data, and we need to define a name for it. We have input, preset time, elapsed time, and output, the same as the inputs and outputs in other timers. But we have here an extra reset input. We can reset the time with this input. Let's see the diagram of this timer to understand its performance better. The preset time in this diagram is 10 seconds. You see here input is on for 2 seconds. Simultaneously the timer starts to count. When the input is off, the elapsed time is uh, not reset to 0 and the timer uh, holds the value here. It's unlike the TON. Again, when the input is on, the timer starts to count and resumes from 2 seconds. After 3 seconds, the input is again off and elapsed time is 5 and it will remain in this time. The third uh, time input is on and after 5 seconds is off. The preset time is completed now and the output will be on. If we give a signal to reset and activate this input, elapsed time will be 0 and output will be turned off. Let's simulate this timer in TIA. At the positive edge of input, the timer starts. We can see the timer doesn't go to zero when I turn off the input and the timer retains its value. After 10 seconds, output is on. I turn off the input, but the output is, is still uh, on. If you want to turn off the output, you need to press reset.
We can also reset the timer whenever we want and make it zero with this input. Okay, that was the last timer in Tia Porta and you can use it in your program. Let's talk about these instructions here. You can find here again the timers in Tia Porta in form of a coil. There is a little bit uh, of difference between coil type and block type. If you use coil type, you need to define a data block manually. To do that, double click on add new block and select data block open data block type and select IEC timer now let's insert one of the timers in coil type I insert TP Here we must write the address of the data block that we have created. If you write the first letter, the address will appear here. Click on it. Click again on noun. Under the instruction, we write the time like block type. Now the timer is ready to use and it works exactly like the TP timer in block type. But we need to address the elements that we want to use it. For example, if you want to use the timer output or elapsed time, you need to call them in your program. I want to use output. I insert a contact. Click on uh, question marks and write the data block's name. Click on it, then select Q as the output. Let's simulate the program. I activate the input. The timer starts to count and the output is on. The timer runs for the time is specified by the time value here. You see that is uh, like the block type. Other timers in coil type are also like this and you can use them. The next instruction is reset timer or uh, just RT. This instruction can be used with both uh, block and coil types and can be uh, placed in a middle position in your program. When the RT is activated, the elapsed time of the timer is reset to zero. We must write the name of the timer here, which we want to reset. I want to reset this um, timer. I write here its name and press enter. I start this timer and now I want to reset it. We can use both uh, inputs here to reset it.
you see the time is reset to zero. I do it again. The next instruction is load time duration. With this instruction, I will show you how to change the preset value of timers dynamically. Suppose our PLC is in run mode and the program is running. If we want to change the time, we need to stop the PLC and change the program and again download and run PLC. But we want to change the preset value while PLC is um, running and without PLC stop and program change. For example, I want the preset time to be 10 seconds, but when I press M1.0, it should be 5 seconds. How can we do that? As you know, every timer in the TL portal has a data block to save its data, like preset value. We can read and write the values of this data block in our program. TL portal has instruction for this, and we can use it to change the preset value. It is a load time duration. I insert it into uh, the program. I add another one. So what will happen here? This operation will modify the data block of this timer and we will write time value to the PT of this timer. So we write here the name of our timer. Click and select it. And here we write the value that we want to give it to the PT. For the first one, 5 seconds. Now we need to write in our uh, timer the address of PT in the data block. Type your timer's name and click on it. Then you have several parameters. Select PT. So when you press M1.0, uh, 5 seconds will be written to this address and the time will be changed to 5 seconds. If you press M1.1, the time uh, will be 8 seconds. Let's download it to our PLC and run the program. You see the timer is 10 seconds. This is because we have defined it in the previous exercise 10 seconds. I press the M1.0. You see the PT is now 5 seconds. And if I start the timer, out, the output will be on after 5 seconds. Now let's say we want 8 seconds delay, so I press M1.1 uh, and the time will be 8 seconds. If you need more time, uh, you can add more PT to the program. You can do this and change the preset value for all the all other timers. If I change the programming language to FBD, you can see this function in this language. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to write a comment below. See you in the next video.